My first skydive changed my life because it taught me a whole different way of looking at the world. Everybody, this is KFC, and welcome to another episode of SkydiverGirls.com. I'm here today with my skydiver girlfriend, Kyla, and we were going to do a gear show because a lot of you have been asking, hey, what are those handles and things like that? We're going to let her explain to you so you can get familiar with some of the terminology and some of the basic things about our parachutes. All right. Welcome, Kyla. Hey, KFC. Thank you very much. Okay. This is a rig. When we say the word rig... It means the whole thing, every single element of it. And the rig fits on just like a backpack. I did my first jump in 2002. How many jumps do you have now? About 300. Wow, cool, cool. And I took a year out. <laughs> and you still got all those in. Yeah. Excellent. So you I went nuts. Weekend? I did about 100 in a month. You did 100 in a month? Yeah. I went, I took a year off university because I decided all I wanted to do was skydive and uh, I went down to the US and lived in Arizona in a tent and then Paris Valley and I did that for a, I did all my jumps in a month but I was there for three months so the first month I just skydived hardcore and then I did an hour in the wind tunnel just this huge like tunnel where they su the fans are on the top and they suck the air up it's got a mesh grate on the floor and you go in and it simulates um, free fall time so you go on and there's an instructor there and they like pull you into the right position and it lets you know how crap your skydiving really is because <laughs> you go in there and you go into your sit and you're schmuck right against the wall like in the cartoons where it's like schmuck and you slide right down. There were questions in the earlier shows about where is the reserve? Where's the main parachute? And what is a reserve anyway? Okay, that's what I'm here for. We've got two parachutes and the parachute refers to the canopy part that's above your head when you're like flying and you come and you land which is what most people see so the main canopy is at the bottom right across here it's four flaps that all fit together with a pin holding it all closed now the second canopy, which is your reserve, fits up on top here. Now the reserve pin looks slightly different. It's straight instead of curved. And it has this little seal on it, which only certain people can pack this reserve because it has to open. So people are trained and have special licenses. And this is their signature. It has their number, their reserve or their rigger's number. A rigger is the name of the person who can pack your reserve. See, gear is exciting! Everyone should love their gear! My first skydive changed my life because it taught me a whole different way of looking at the world. I uh, had a lot of problems and I was really upset and I was naturally a depressed person and I went for my first skydive and I was up in the air and everything on the ground was so tiny, none of it mattered. And all my problems were on the ground, so they were all that small. So none of them really mattered either. I mean, in the long run, what, what does any of it matter? So it let me shake off anything that bothered me, anything that was like little, small, people's reactions, just habits that bothered me, they no longer mattered. It just, it reminds you how insignificant you are in the grand scheme of things. Excellent. And, you know, I love that because <laughs> it keeps it real. Another question that was asked was about handles. So reserve handles and handles to pull your main parachute. Now, to pull your main parachute, this is your handle. It's right at the bottom. It pulls out a little mini parachute that you, has about two tons of pull on it. And this inflates with air, pulls this, which is called the bridle, it's corrugated ribbon stitched together, which comes out, pops this flap, and pulls the pin out, which then pulls out your main parachute. 
Okay, for your reserve parachute, it's a little bit of a different system. There are two handles on your sh on the, your shoulder straps that come right about here. The one on your right is called a cutaway handle. Now, why it's called a cutaway handle is because if your first parachute doesn't open and there's nothing behind you or something is messed up, then you have to cut the parachute away from you so that when your new parachute opens, it doesn't open into the mess that may be above your head. So to cut it away, you have to pull this handle on your right and it is attached to yellow cutaway cables which are um, metal covered in plastic and it pulls out this little loop right here which releases all these links and your main parachute floats away. Now there's nothing above your head, you're all clear and you can go for the handle on your left. And the left handle is called your reserve handle because it opens your reserve. So you pull that and your reserve opens. When you pull this, the cables come up through here onto your back and pull this reserve pin, which opens these flaps. This is your reserve pilot chute. And it is loaded with a spring. So when this pin pulls, this pilot chute will go My mom and I, for my 18th birthday, went skydiving and she did her first two jumps with me out in Didsbury, Alberta, and it was amazing. And we got down after the first jump and I said, I want to go again. I was shaking. It was so intense. And my mom said, I've already bought our next jump. Let's go. Gear up. And it was amazing. Um, after that, I went home and I worked for a week to make enough money to do five more jumps. <laughs> the next week and I came back and I did five more jumps. It was incredible. It's a pleasure to be on skydivergirls.com. Blue skies, y'all.